Welcome back to Discovery Lab Online. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Ford Model T, which is a really cool piece of the museum's collection. Of course, everyone has heard of Ford, and most people would recognize a Model T if they saw one. But why is the Ford Model T considered to be so iconic? And why do some people consider it to be the most important car in American history? It wasn't the first car. Most historians and car enthusiasts argue that that honor goes to either Nicolas Joseph Cugnot from France or Carl Benz from Germany. Cugnot built this steam-powered tricycle in 1769, which was the first self-propelled road vehicle. Benz, on the other hand, patented his vehicle powered by a gas engine in 1885 and built his famous Benz patent motor wagon, which is the first gasoline-powered automobile powered by an internal combustion engine. The Ford Motor Company also wasn't the first American-made car. That honor goes to Charles and Frank Duria in Springfield, Massachusetts, who founded the Duria Motor Wagon Company in 1895. So if the Model T wasn't the first car, nor the first American car, why is it so famous and considered to be so important to some historians? It's because the Model T was a huge innovation. No, not really for the technology of the car itself, but for its mass production techniques and cost-cutting methods. The Model T was first produced in 1908 and sold for $850, which is equivalent to about $23,000 today, and it quickly became the default American car. It was simple, affordable, and durable. It was one of the first efforts to make a car that most people could actually afford to buy and also to maintain. At the time, most automobiles in existence were luxurious novelties rather than affordable transport. In 1913, Ford Motor Company was able to cut the cost even further through the use of a moving assembly line. An assembly line is a production technique that breaks down the process of creating something into many separate steps that could be done by different people. At Ford, the Model T would move on a conveyor belt with each team member specializing in a particular part of the process. One of Ford's engineers, William Klan, reportedly got this idea after observing this practice at a Chicago slaughterhouse. This assembly line reduced production time from 12 and a half hours to just one and a half hours, and this helped Ford Motor Company lower the price of the Model T even further. By 1923, Ford was able to cut the cost of the Model T to just $298, which is equivalent to about $4,400 today, and this is largely due to the efficiencies of the mass production techniques. This made the Model T cheap by comparison to other early automobiles and much more widely available, meaning that driving a car was an option for people who would have otherwise been priced out of the market, like Ford's own employees. And this was a very successful strategy. The Model T was easily the most popular automobile at the time. In 1923, the Ford Model T accounted for a full 55% of American automobile production. So even though the Model T wasn't the first car uh, or even the first American car, it changed the world. It helped make car ownership the norm in the United States. Thanks for watching Discovery Lab Online. If you enjoy our content, let us know by leaving a like on this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any science or history related questions for our team, be sure to send them to questions at fwmsh.org. Until next time.